Late 215 here. Let's talk battle rap. I don't know what I'm going to call like this little, I guess a series. I'm thinking I'm going to try to of um, how to, how to extract more money from battle rap. It's weird, you know, like why am I talking about the, the corporation taking more money from the people? But it's like um, here but we try to see what can we do to make it better or make it more efficient or make it more profitable, right? Because people think battle rap ain't that much profitable. A lot of people had to lose money on events. And they do. A lot of people lose money on events just to throw the event itself. Now, this is for basically the URL who's already got a solid game plan on how to extract money from the fans, right? So one thing about Smack is always interesting. It's the vote. What's up with the vote? All them battles he got stuck in the vote. That shit, not, not necessarily a DVD, but that's digital content. Like, why can I not <laughs> get the battles off the vote? Come on, you just put a declaimer up about the sound quality, a little shaky, a little off, the video stuff that catch a certain thing. But that's money, man. Selling exclusive content for um the actual big events, the Summer Madnesses, whatever, with interviews involved, backstage shit, showing you clips of stuff, like, mixed with the vote shit. Like, yo, here's a... Here's a battle we never released. Like, where the hell is my is my Cortez Cortez versus Tech Nine battle? Like, what's up with it? Yo, what's up with the um Young Ill and Conceited battle? Like, that right there is still money on it. Um, Smack has crazy content. The URL, sorry, the URL has crazy content. Um, that's locked away, and it's probably for a certain reason. And they dropped a couple of them battles like a year later, and they still they still rocked. Oh, they released John John versus Clean Clean Paper QP. That shit was crazy. I'm like, yo, oh, when they even did the whole. Um, the hallway battle with um Hitman Holla with Sunni the rapper and Fair Funeral, that was hot. So it was like that right there can be digital content they can sell. No, they probably thought about this shit. It's probably some weird shit like you know how much I gotta pay out to, to get in or whatever. But if they have it, man, there you go. Here's my gift to the world. I feel like digital content, exclusive content, you only can get by. By buying, put this shit on iTunes. I don't fucking know. Um, go to the Android store or whatever. And like you could you could download content. Whole events. You can get uh, like a DVD form. Like make that shit look like a WrestleMania. You know what I mean? Like you know, people backstage talking what they're going to do before the battle. Shit like that. Basically all the, you know, it just, you already know what I'm saying. I'm over talking now. But more his whole vote, the battles he didn't release. They could make, I think they could make bread off of that, man. Um, I think they can make a lot of bread off of that. Definitely if they package it right. Three battles probably for, you know, three battles drop, put events on there. Some back, some backstage scenes of a past summer madness with them battles. And I feel like people will really will like love that shit. And I can see people paying $10 for that shit. You put three battles, votes on the card that had big names. Um, plus some backstage shit about loaded Lux or some shit with Charlie clips, more behind the scenes stuff with that, you know, little debates here and here. Um, you even could call up the bloggers and shit like that. You don't need to, but you got to, you could call them up and put them on a, that, that podcast I got now, the URL podcast, whatever that shit is. And you could go back to forth with some battles, bring up, uh, Jay black, who, who's a Hajo Hama, this shit right now. Um, I don't really care for no other bloggers. Some people good, but like somebody else who does that same shit and had them debate about some things, debate about the battles they seen, let them see the vote battles, and they talk about them, and add that to the content. I just really think it's a great idea. Now, I've been talking too long on this shit, but it's something me and my homie been talking about. Me and my boy H talked about it. Me and my boy Bonds talked about it. It's just like, it's there. The money is there because they got all this shit locked away. And I don't know if it will work, but I'm like 90% sure. I'm saying it right one more time because I'm not going to leave y'all the fuck alone, yo. 90% sure that they take at least three vote battles, three of them from the vote, right? The solid, bam, bam, bam. If they if they do like Tech Nine Cortez, another Cortez battle, they could do a whole joint with Cortez, but like another Cortez battle and 
and do Casita versus Ill, $10. And all three of them battles, you have basically a round table of people debating them, Johns, like afterwards and a couple interviews of the battle rappers, like about that battle and why they feel like it, you know, didn't get released or whatnot. And maybe even some clips of like the big event that just happened, like the Gnome 6 or something, and be like, okay, we're going to show you some clips behind the scenes of that, just for like bonus bonus footage. And it's like, um, Nine ninety nine, ten dollars. I I think I think people will buy, man. People, people are. I'm a hardcore fan of battle rap, so I will buy that shit. Cause Smack don't want to really go to pay per view route looks. Um, I get it. They really can't control a lot of things, and they feel like okay, if we could monitor it, they might have some events. They might do live streams, some not. So, but I feel like this digital content idea definitely will work. Definitely will work when it comes to the um. Um, vote. I mean, the vote buying up, not votes, nigga. The vote, nigga. The fuck. So that was my mind frame. I love to hear y'all mind frame, man. Leave that shit in the comments. If not, that was mine. And I catch y'all in the next video.